What is up? This is your LA in a Minute, and on July 9th, there's going to be a huge grand reopening party for the 6th Street Viaduct. Why is it so important to LA's past and its future? Let's get into it. So why a party with 15,000 people in attendance and Ozo Motley headlining just for a bridge? Well, the 6th Street Viaduct was demolished six years ago, and it's cost $588 million to rebuild, the most expensive bridge project in Los Angeles history. It was originally built in 1932, 3,500 feet long, 46 feet wide, connecting the Arts District to Boyle Heights. In its heyday, the bridge spanned the LA River, the Santa Ana Freeway, the Golden State Freeway, and 18 railroad tracks. Over the next few decades, the bridge became known for its grace and grit. Accordingly, it made cameo appearances in more than 80 music videos and movies, including Grease, Terminator 2, and Anchorman. It also became something of a haven for lowrider culture. A study in 2016, however, showed that there was over a 70% probability that the bridge would collapse during an earthquake, so they had to tear it down. Though the new design by architect Michael Maltzen was beautiful, it went over two years and $100 million over budget. That said, the finished product is stunning. The columns and arches form a ribbon of light, and it's going to be wider because it has bicycle lanes, a pedestrian lane, and a stairwell that leads down to a 12-acre park under the bridge. The 6th Street Viaduct was a beautiful and integral part of LA's past and will be equally important for building a community in LA's future. All right, LA, it's been a minute.